Uh, nothing really to start with. Um, I guess I got one comment. I, I think uh, as a team, you know, we're continuing to uh, improve, right? I think uh, we're finding, we found a way to win games. You know, we're four and one at this juncture. Um, and I think it's fair to say, just like a lot of teams at this point, we haven't played a full game yet, but we're playing better and better football each week. And I think um, you've heard me say it each time, it's a journey. And, and along the way, if you can find a way, however, to uh, win football games, that's what you're looking for. So um, this is a great time. I guess this is one I anticipate. This is a great time for us because just like any time you're practicing, um, our training, you know, it's important for the guys to work on their individual skills. It's important for us to come together as a team. And then during the bye week, um, they have a chance to kind of rest, recover, and kind of get back to ground zero with their lives, schoolwork, a um, little bit of family time. But still, it's really not time um, off. It's really just time away if they choose to go. So that's where we're at. Right, go ahead. Because in terms of Travis Hunter, what attributes on defense can he apply to a receiver to make him so good? And he's is he one of the better ones you've seen? Come. Yeah, I, I think I've said this probably to all 32 NFL teams. Uh, but he has some superpowers, and the most obvious one is his ball skills, right? And so when you're playing corner, um, it's very, very important that you affect the ball. And we, you know, he gets interceptions, right, as a, as a defensive player. But he knows where he's supposed to be. He makes tackles when it's his time to tackle. Um, and so um, anytime you can affect the ball, um, I think that's really, really good. And aside from all the things he does, his, his ball skills, anytime there's a ball in the air near him, um, we got a really, really good chance he's going to catch it, whether he's playing offense or defense. All right, go ahead. Coach, you said you guys haven't played a complete game. Saturday felt like the most complete game to this point. Did you feel that way? And, and you know, it feels like it's kind of like been trending that way, but do you feel like it's been trending? Growing? Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think that's that's what you're looking for, right? Um, I watch Andy Reid, right? I'm, I'm watching the Chiefs, right? And they've won every game, but they constantly talk about how they haven't you know, played a full game yet. And that's, that's the challenge. I think uh, we got to be really, really careful, even at this level. Right? We've got to be really, really careful to, after one game um, in the first month, paint a picture of what everybody thinks the season's going to look like. These, I mean, we've got a lot of young players. We've got a lot of new players. And they're busting their butts to do what we ask them to do, and they're fighting like heck to make plays. And as they continue to do that, they play better and better. Um, back on Travis, when you talk to NFL scouts on Travis, are they looking at him for his corner skills or his wide receiver skills, both? Both. You know, I think uh, any team is going to be very, very lucky to have Travis, and then they just got to decide where they want to play him. We're, you know, he's displaying every week why he could be an impact player on both sides of the ball. So those are the decisions that the teams that – or the team – the teams – as they prepare for the draft, right? Or the team that eventually chooses them, that's their decision what they're gonna do. But he's showing everybody that he can play on offense or defense. With Savelle Small stepping up a little bit and being able to utilize yeah. the tight end position, how has that helped you kind of open up the playbooks a little bit? Yeah, I think it's important that you're, we're able to use um, more personnel groupings. Obviously the world knows we're primarily a 10 personnel team because that fits what we are personnel-wise. Um, but I think in order to to play a balanced offense where you can run the ball and protect the passer, we have to play in a little bit of 11. And obviously, the impact the tight end makes in, the, in that is, is important. So he did a really good job, probably his best game uh, to date, but he had more opportunities. And it made sense for us. Um, each week, it's different, right? Each week, uh, each team we play presents a different challenge. Some weeks, we can stay in four open, 10 personnel. In other weeks, it's going to make sense to be in 11 and sometimes 12. And so, um, you know, the, the tight ends doing what they're supposed to do and what we're asking them to do is it's, it's big. Coach, as you begin kind of the self-scouting process, what are some things that maybe you want to do differently or improve on? Well, I'll let that reveal itself as we move forward, right? I think typically that's always one of the exercises in any bye week. You go back and look at what you've done. Um, 
I'm always looking at tendencies. I broke a lot of them last week, and which helped us. Um, you know, I think self scout. You know, situational football. What areas can we be better? You know, uh, do we need to be better on third and one? Uh, how can we help ourselves in the red zone? Uh, two minute, four minute. So we, you know, we and I, and I certainly look at it in my private time um, at all that to try to improve it. Um, sometimes the answer is to do more of the same and do it better. Sometimes the answer is to, uh, you know what, in a former life that was a really good play, but it doesn't work for us, let's put it on the shelf. You know, and so those are the things um, that, you, that we as coaches will do. In the, in the, now, the other thing, the other thing that we do here that I'm getting used to is uh, recruiting, right? So I got to spend time doing that. And this time of year, um, a bye week allows us to go out and do that. Last one, Jack, go ahead. Um, with Draylon Miller, I mean, you've seen him, you know, very versatile guy for your offense mm -hmm. so far. Just what do you hope to see from him moving forward? Yeah, I mean, Draylon's a young player, and we're fond of saying he's, he's really good at football. You know, it's tongue-in-cheek, I guess. But, you know, so we've used him as a wide out. We've used him as a running back. Um, you know, and I think it makes sense for him to get a couple touches a game. And as the flow of the game dictates, sometimes more than that. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.